Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist on a mission to discover how to age well and to look and feel good for longer. And I've spent quite a lot of time on this channel exploring some of the many at-home anti-aging devices out there on the market, along with the pros and cons of using them. Among the biggest selling home beauty tools are, of course, microcurrent devices. So today I'm going to take a look at the scientific evidence behind them and share my own opinions on the best options and why based on my many years of using them. The makers of microcurrent devices typically claim that using microcurrent on your face frequently can both tone and lift the skin by stimulating your facial muscles and even helping trigger the production of collagen and elastin, both essential components to the health and volume of our skin. The devices are designed to release a gentle, that's the microelectric current through your skin to build the muscle adding volume. The theory behind increasing the production of collagen and elastin in our skin is less clear, but there is some logic in the idea that by exciting and energizing our skin cells and giving our muscles a workout, we increase blood and oxygen supply to our skin, and this could theoretically help optimize the conditions for improved cell productivity. While there isn't a huge amount of evidence to back up the theory, there is a recent very small Austrian study that looked at the impact of microcurrent on burn wound healing, which found it did indeed increase blood flow to the skin and was suggested as a promising adjunct tool in the treatment of burns. These findings are backed by a 2018 study from a hospital in Kuala Lumpur, which reported accelerated wound healing among patients who were treated with microcurrent. Another small study published in the Journal of Physiotherapy found that the use of microcurrent over 10 days did increase firmness on the skin's surface, but there was no notable effect on wrinkles. That said, the microcurrent sessions lasted 30 minutes at a time, which is quite a bit longer than the few minutes of daily or very regular treatment recommended by most at-home device makers. In my own experience, I find microcurrent devices do help keep facial muscles toned, and particularly they're helpful around the jowls and under the chin. And I tend to use a device three to four times a week, but there's no golden rule around frequency. You know, as with most things in skincare, you kind of have to work out a frequency that suits you and your skin. Though you're probably looking at a minimum of three to four times a week to see results. So I believe they are best used on a preventative basis, helping to delay the effects of aging on our skin and to keep our facial muscles toned. If you already have more developed sagging around the jowls, then I think it's unlikely that it's gonna deliver a dramatic benefit in my opinion. For the current to flow optimally into your skin, you ideally need to use a water-based conductive gel or a serum on a clean face and avoid using anything oil-based before treatments to disrupt the flow of the current. Most of the better known devices sold include conductive gels, but they can be expensive to reorder on their own. And things like water-based hyaluronic acid serums or aloe vera gels can do the job just as effectively and for a fraction of the price. So I've included a few low-cost options in the description below. Microcurrent devices are thought to be safe, but should be avoided if you're pregnant, wear a pacemaker, or suffer from epilepsy. And with the technology being fairly standard, there isn't a huge amount to separate the different microcurrent tools on the market. So it's best to choose one to suit your budget, but also consider comfort, because the current can be felt more strongly from some devices than others. Now, there have been anecdotal claims, and I have had a few viewers make them in the comments section of this channel, that microcurrent devices have caused facial fat loss for some people. It's not something I've seen from my own experience, but the fact that they help tone our muscle means that similar to high intensity exercise, it's not impossible that there could be some reduction in fat. That would, of course, be very welcome under our chins, but it's unlikely that if you're sticking with some of the better known and tried and tested brands and using them moderately, that you're gonna see sudden or dramatic fat loss. It's more likely to cause a more subtle toning effect over time. That said, I did find, for example, the new face device 
quite uncomfortable on my skin because of what felt like a stronger current. And I could see my muscles spasming as I used it, which I did think was a good thing at the time, but I'm now moving away from anything that causes any significant degree of discomfort, just because my instinct is that A, it's something that makes me less likely to keep going with a device longer term, and B, I don't feel it's the best way to maintain my skin's natural health and balance. Again, that's just my opinion. So ultimately, I prefer to use devices that use either a mix of nano and microcurrent, which I'll explain the difference in just a minute, or a moderated current for a gentler effect. And I'll link to the three devices that I recommend in the video description below where it says show more. And in most cases, I have discount codes for them as well. But from my own experience, the Zip devices, which incorporates nano current, are the most comfortable on your skin, but they are at the more uncomfortable end of the price range. I've used the GX model for a period of time and found it very comfortable and did feel it helped me maintain this jowl area very well. Zip have recently launched a new Halo device, which I like even more. I can actually feel a slightly stronger current with it, but it's still comfortable to use and is designed to be so because it uses lower frequency and lower amp currents. The difference between the micro and nano current that it uses is that micro is a form of electrical therapy that delivers current in the microamp range and is designed to mimic the body's own natural electric currents. It works to stimulate the muscles to contract and therefore gives an immediate lifting effect. Nanocurrent is much smaller than microcurrent, and the theory is that it can promote changes at a cellular level, delivering more gradual results. Now, the Zip is a favourite with celebrities, including Jennifer Aniston, and Sandra Bullock reportedly said it keeps her face from sliding to the ground. I love that. So, the founder also has a theory that nanocurrent can help hyperpigmentation by inhibiting melanin production. The Zip devices all come with an app, but you can use the Halo without the app, which I find more convenient. It has a built-in four-minute treatment that I've been using a few times a week and find it's easily incorporated into my nighttime or morning routine. It's expensive, but it's definitely one of the best I've tried on the market. The Foreo Bear is another device that's reported to be comfortable by users due to its built-in anti-shock sensors that adjust the current on contact with your skin and so it has good consumer feedback. And I've also kept in my bathroom for years now the Phoenix solar powered microcurrent roller made by Even Skin. It delivers a really subtle and low level current but you can feel it when you use it on just damp skin. And when I use it just straight after I come out of the shower and I've just dried my face so there's only a little dampness left, it glides easily but I can really feel the charge on my skin and I think it's a lovely way of gently stimulating muscles and blood flow without overdoing it. I also take it with me when I'm traveling because it's small, it's self-charging and it fits in my makeup bag and it's at the lower end of the price spectrum. Also at that lower end is the newly released Urchin from Bev May Sanderson at Maysama. Bev will be on the channel with me next week to discuss the do's and don'ts of using red light because she's a scientist as well as a skincare founder and she's done a lot of research into the different modalities. Her little urchin device, which I just opened yesterday, and I'm pleased to say it has different power levels and I found the lower ones really comfortable on my skin. And it also combines sonic vibration and pulsed red light. Pulsed red light therapy being a good way to get the benefits of red light again without overdoing it. So that's another device I can happily get behind. Again, I'll link to it below. So that's my quick take on microcurrent. It's really the anti-aging at home device treatment that I've stuck with over the years and have the last several years used it in some form or another regularly. And as I said, based purely on my experience because there is no hard scientific evidence around this, I would go for a more gentle device that feels comfortable on your skin because my own theory is that means it works in closer harmony with your skin and is less likely to stress it out. I hope this roundup of some of the evidence out there and my own experience helps you. I know a lot of my regular viewers and subscribers use microcurrent, so do share your experience with us in the comments. What do you use and why? And would you recommend it to others? For now, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next time.